and welcome! Today is yet another requested video and I was asked to do a video about the setup of my Emerald Tree Boa. Now the Emerald Tree Boa is quite a stunning snake. Not only is it incredibly beautiful but it's also very fascinating to watch because as you may have seen in some of my Instagram photos or maybe you already know the Emerald Tree Boa from somewhere else, they do hang in this very classic S position inside that Serrera which of course they also do in nature. And speaking of nature or in the wild these guys they do live in the rainforest primarily in South America and living in the rainforest means a high humidity so when you have these guys inside the terrarium you really have to make sure that the humidity is high which means that it has to be around 65 to 75 percent now that's quite a high humidity whereas the bull python for example only needs 60 percent humidity and the corn snake California king snake can go even lower so you really have to be on point with the humidity with these guys which means they really need to build and decorate your terrarium to fit those needs. We'll have a look at the terrarium in just a second. Before we do that, I really want to talk to you guys a little bit more about my emerald tree boa because when I got him, I was quite scared because I was told that he had these very, very long, very sharp teeth and that a bite would really, really hurt. So Asmodan, as he is called, is not a snake that I would take out like on a willingly basis, which means that whenever he needed handling, which was very, very rare, we've only had Asmodan out maximum four or five times since we got him that would be Timmy who was going to do it but I kind of faced my fear in the first video I did with him and I handled him and he turned out to be just the sweetest guy ever like he was so curious he was so calm so I immediately not only fell in love with how he looked but also how he was if you like me have fallen in love with the emerald tree boa and you're thinking about buying one I can highly recommend these guys but I also have to say that you really have to do your research if you're not that old maybe and you're thinking about getting your first snake this is not one for you but if you are older and maybe you've been around snakes or been around reptiles before and you want to go one of these I would say that yes you can only you have to know that these guys are not for handling you have to see them maybe like a fish in an aquarium not for handling either I certainly hope not but these guys are incredibly beautiful but they are also quite fragile especially their long tail can be very very fragile so you have to be really careful with these guys so if you are thinking about getting one of these only recommend them they're so beautiful and this year are gonna make every guest of yours just turn their head and look at them whenever I take people up here in my reptile room the first one they spot is always as madame but I don't want to burst your bubble not at all if you really have fallen in love with a snake and you just really want them do your research go out get some experience and then I can totally recommend them enough chit chat let's go and have a look at Asmodan's terrarium So this is Asmodan's terrarium. As you can see, we've completely covered all three sides of the terrarium to make sure that the humidity really does stay inside. And down here, oh, let's go inside. Down here, we're using coconut fiber as the substrate. He has a big water bowl because as I said before, he really needs this high humidity. And of course, up here, he has the branches. He really needs those because the green tree boar is an arboreal snake which means that it lives up in the trees and not uh, in the ground as for example the ball python. Asmodan, as you can see, he's over here. Let me see if I can get you a closer look. This is Asmodan and he's hanging in this classic S position that I talked about before. You will definitely see that one in the wild too. He is kind of sleeping right now. He is mostly active during the night, but I'll see if I can get uh, get some little life sign for him. Let's see if there's my father in the Hi, sweetie. You wanna come say hi? Come on now. Oh, he's just not interested at all. He's very, very, very docile. So mostly, I think he just wants to be left alone. No, it's okay. You can kind of see his head around there. Let's see if I can... There. That is the top of his head. Oh, the front of his head, not the top. Anyway, he usually hangs like this the whole day. I don't see any activity in him whatsoever. It's only when the night comes that interesting things really 
usually do happen because that is when he naturally would go out to hunt. So he will move from that branch, oops, he will move from that branch over here to this branch here. And he will sit there and he will just go into the strike position that you know from pretty much any other type of snake and he will just wait for food. And he's really really skilled, like he has a perfect strike and he's fast and precise. So that's really really awesome. Alright, some more general information about this terrarium. What haven't I said before? Of course, we have this plastic plant. Uh, other than that, we don't really have that much plastic plant in his terrarium because he seems to be thriving perfectly now. The most important thing, of course, is all the branches and the substrate so you can keep uh, the humidity up. And also, he has a light bulb up here to produce some heat because these guys also need uh, a high amount of heat. The emerald tree bow, as I said before, they do come from the South African rainforest. So you really need to be able to duplicate that kind of uh, heat and humidity and all that kind of stuff. Like maybe you can imagine that the rainforest is very damp, like the air is very tight and it's very wet, all that kind of stuff. So you really have to be able to uh, recreate that for them. That also means that despite the big water ball, despite that we've covered up all the sides, we have this substrate that's really good for humidity. We also need to add some more for the humidity to stay up high, which means that every morning and every night I miss the terrarium. And I haven't done that yet, but it's still morning, so let's do that. Well, that was about it. We have the heat on and we've made sure that the humidity is on point. Asthma down is looking great and everything seems to be in order. So let's close up for now. Alright guys, that's all for today. I really do hope you enjoyed this little video on my green tree boa asthmadan. If you have any comments or questions, just put them right down below in the comment section. Please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make. It really does mean a lot to me. And while you're at it, just hit subscribe on that channel. Thank you guys for now and bye bye!